actually simpler. Well, it's actually simpler to talk to you that way. It's just, you know, from my uh, lovely living room, I'm just, you know, happily seated, comfortably here chatting to you lovely people. Okay, I want to talk to you about a very, very important word that's been in the news over and over again. Uh, the thought came to me when I saw the um, reports about COP28 that is coming very soon to UAE and last year it was actually in my hometown in, in Egypt, uh, COP27. I'm really passionate about the environment um, on a personal level. There has been a lot of uh, issues happening negatively in my hometown, um, but I wouldn't talk about that for the moment. But let's go back to what we do. We build brands, right? And uh, we want to get involved. So genuinely, if a brand really, really believes in sustainability and uh, linking it to their work, this is not just a CSR, okay? Because frankly speaking, that word is tarnished, literally. With all due respect who for people who work in CSR and PR and probably anything that ends with an R, okay, uh, no offense, but the practices are not uh, authentic. They're not impactful. I see them as so much of uh, propaganda for uh, the company. Corporate brands, fine. And maybe even the personal brand of the CEO. But let's face it. This globe is in trouble and it's our children and grandchildren that, you know, God give them life that is going to pay the price. So what do we do? What we do is empower them. As brand, I think the key is that you think of few concepts whereby you give the power to the people. Do you remember the late John Lennon? He said what? power to the people. So let me uh, steal that amazing sentence from an amazing artist and say, give power to the people. Help them as a brand to uh, implement uh, in their daily life anything that can help the environment. I truly believe this is the only way we can fix this. I mean, governments, all right, fine, rules, blah, blah, blah. Go on your way. It's in peril. But to really implement change, it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. And change can happen. Remember COVID? Yes, yes, yes. That horrible couple of years where we couldn't hug and kiss and, and be intimate with, with everybody and we couldn't travel. God, that was really, really bad. But what happened? We got used to it. We changed part of our ways relatively. Okay, so change at a mass level can happen. But give me the tools. I'm not a smart guy. I'm just an ordinary man. And this is very important. Give me incentive. Yes, yes. Not everybody understand what the hell is going on. Not everybody understand that uh, the heat, you know, global warming. They can feel that it's warmer now. We're getting 40 degrees in Europe and we're getting uh, snow in month that is usually not the snow time. And we're getting uh, more and more uh, floods and natural disasters, even in areas that we never used to. Yeah? Help me. Help me as an ordinary man to save the environment. If a brand, and mark my words, if a brand is capable of cracking this, they are going to win big, big time. The other day, uh, one, of, one of the biggest manufacturers um, of home appliances and accessories and uh, furnishings and all of that was asking me about what type of concepts can we embrace. I told them I don't want to go into like very sophisticated stuff, but the simple thing 
if you are able to save energy, everybody's a winner. Yeah? If you are able to uh, recycle, every, everybody's a winner. If uh, the thousand plus workers that you have in your factories, their families are able to, to take the leftover material and do these amazing handcrafts and you, you put in, um, you know, these uh, little fairs for handmade stuff and they sell it, their kids would be so excited because this is work and you're empowering them, maybe even get a, an extra income, pocket money. We have to think differently as organizations and save. Yes, if you're saving energy, you're saving uh, cost, by the way. And uh, I've always been a big fan of renewable energy and this is time to do so. So, uh, yeah, just my uh, five minute uh, chat chat in my uh, cozy living room. Uh, I don't have even makeup or anything. I have my hair in a funny thing. I just washed it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, my media agency thinks I'm crazy that I like to do all of these spontaneous, uh, you know, um, videos. Uh, but yeah, you can tell me what you think about that because I just, it's, it's just me. It's just me. Have a good weekend.